In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create the dirt ground material in minutes. Let's build this dirt ground material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We're using a base material as starting point. To add it we click on the add a base material button on top of the layer stack. Let's tweak the color first and increase the roughness to 1 for the dirt base. Now we build up the dirt height from big to small shapes with multiple surface relief filters. We click on the add a layer button, typing in surface and choose surface relief. To randomize it we change the random seed. We tweak the scale and lower the intensity for big shapes. Let's add another surface relief with slightly smaller and less intense details. For more variation we repeat this step. To get even smaller details we add another one, change the type to fine and choose cloud. We further lower the scale and intensity. Now we'll add a warp filter to deform it slightly. We increase the intensity and lower the scale. For micro details we use a surface relief with the type fine, BNW as variant and a lower intensity. To get more roughness details we use a channel switch filter. Choose height as input and roughness as output. As mode we choose subtract and adjust opacity. Let's blend it with the mod material from the starter assets. We drag and drop it into the layer stack and tweak the offset and contrast for a nice smooth blending transition. Let's rename the material and save the project frequently. To splatter additional details like stones, twigs or leaves onto the ground we use multiple atlas scatter filters. We grab the medium rock pebbles and drag and drop it into the atlas scatter slot in the layer stack. Let's start by tweaking the scale and adjusting the various color from background parameters to make it match with the dirt. Then we use the mask random setting to reduce the amount and offset the height. We can tweak the random seed until we find a nice placement. Time for another atlas scatter with the mossy wood sticks. Let's find a nice random seed, adjust the scale and scale random and increase the masking. Further we tweak the color from background settings slightly. To make the height more conform to the background we increase conform to background to 1. Smooth out the height from the dirt where the sticks come in place and finally tweak the offset to push them more inside of the ground. Let's add some dry laurel leaves to the ground. We tweak scale and scale random and further adjust the position randomness. We'll make them more conform to the background, increase the mask and adjust the color too. We'll keep repeating these steps with a few more atlas texture to bring in even more variation and details into the ground. You can download and use a lot of different atlas textures from the Adobe Assets page or just reuse and tweak the default sampler atlases. As final filter we use the height to AO to get a nice AO map. We switch to mode and tweak the intensity and the spread for the strength. To check the result in different lighting conditions we can choose between several different environment lights till we find one that looks great. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at the later time. Use Sentu to send it directly to another Substance app. Export it as SBSAR for other 3D apps and engines. Or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.